Yo guys, welcome back. It is the trio back at it again. Donald, Joe, and myself, BBC Barack. Ha ha ha. I see you like the name BBC Barack now. I think the fans love it too. Ew, you guys are so weird talking about crude stuff like that. It's just what guys talk about. Suck it up, you turd burglar. Oh well. We can talk about normal things, like what are you guys thinking of OG Fortnite now it's been out for a few weeks? Has the nostalgia worn off yet? I wouldn't say that the nostalgia has worn off yet. However, I would say I can start to see the faults in the OG Fortnite and map in general. I think the lack of mobility has really made the game a much slower pace, which is something I am not a massive fan of. I prefer getting into lots of battles whereas I feel like I'm always searching for a fight, but struggling to find one nowadays. I get you completely, Barack. Like, where the fuck are people? I need to smash them with a Donnie drop kick, but I can't do that when I can't even get to the fatty. Wow, guys, I actually prefer this slower pace. Don't get me wrong, I love giving someone a good Biden blow, but not every two seconds. I like a break between each round. Did you hear anything wrong with what you just said, Joe? Nope, why? Well, you said Biden blow and talked about rounds. That sounds pretty zesty, my man. Well, actually, I don't even know if I can say my man now as I don't want you or others to get the wrong idea. Oh my, you don't need to make everything so sexual, Donnie. No one else was thinking that. I was too, to be honest. Not gonna lie, they're Joey boy. Screw you guys. You lot are some wet-ass toilet rolls. Wet-ass toilet roll? Who do you think you are, Joe? Are you looking to be knocked the hell out, man? You couldn't do a thing to me, pal. I would knock you out like it was nothing, you wet-ass toilet roll. Where does that word even come from? So random, but kind of like it, well, I like it when it's not said to me? Dunno, I just thought of it as you two were being stupid. Not gonna lie, if we did an IQ test, I think you were coming in third place out of us, Joe. Not too bad, that sounds like a podium finish to me. Point proven, hardly a podium when you come third out of three people, that's like getting a participation trophy. It's just a joke. So fellas, what were your favorite video games to play back in the day? I was always a fan of Monopoly, does that count? Monopoly? Come on, Joe. We're talking about pixels, not properties. What do you know about properties? The Trump name and my empire consists of so many properties. That should tell you enough, you dumbass. Bloody hell. You are both a bunch of dumbasses. Or should I say some wet-ass toilet rolls? I asked a simple question and all I got was an unrelated answer and some trash talk. Both useless, I swear. Relax, you wet-ass toilet roll. You know that's how it works when we play as a trio. Suck it the fuck up, you uphill gardener. Shut up, I ain't sucking anything up. Just shut up and sit there in defeat. Never. I can't sit here in defeat as I'm in the top fucking G. Nah, bullshit. Nah, complete facts. A bit like how I was a much better president than you ever were. Nope, never. I had real fans, people who idolized me. That only happens when you are the greatest. That sounds like some fake ass news, Donald. I never fake anything, Barack. Unlike your birth certificate. Whoa, what the fuck? You are such a piece of shit, Donald. I actually hate you. Ha ha ha, if you actually did, you wouldn't join the game, you turd burglar. Okay, that's enough, guys. We need some peace in here to much war. I'm tired of it. Shut up. You are literally funding two whole wars, you idiot. And maybe a third, considering you just called Xi Jinping a dictator, you idiot. At least when I was president, we didn't have these full-blown crazy wars on this sort of scale. And I had good relations with counties like China, which you have just shat down the toilet, you wet-ass toilet roll. Wow. Don't use my word, you wet-ass toilet roll. Whoa, that's all you're concerned with. Nothing to do with what I said about the wars. Nah, fuck them wars. Just look good for the 2024 elections. Oh my, I can't believe you would say such a thing. In the realm of choices where ballots are cast, a nation decides with hopes that will last. Election day dawns, a moment profound. As voices unite, their echoes resound. Candidates stand, each with a vision, a tapestry woven of diverse decisions. In this democratic dance, steps are taken in pursuit of a future yet to awaken. The debates unfold. Biden's in the air looking for sympathy and avid prayer. Votes like petals fall from the bow, each one a promise, a solemn vow. It's all about my party. Time for a flight. No spectrum of colors as LGBTQs fight. In the quiet booth where choices are made, a citizen's voice in the ballot laid. Let's celebrate the process. The right to choose. Donald will be the winner and Biden will lose. For in this mosaic of democracy's grace lies the strength of a nation in every embrace. I can't wait for the election just so I can see your face in defeat as you realize you're not getting an eight-year term like myself. Ain't no way that is happening. I will get Barack to strike the shit out of the country if that happened. Either I am the winner or we all lose.
Hey, Donnie, I didn't agree to that. I'm not committing treason. I love this country too much for that. There's nothing going to be left anyway. If Joe is president again, we have already destroyed the dollar by printing a shit ton of money. Have you two looked into the reverse repo before? The U.S. Fed is paying out $200 million in interest every single day through it, not to mention the $500 million that the Fed is paying in daily interest payments on its reserve policy. That's $700 million a day. The country's fucked. Are you too blind or something? Relax, Donnie. Who cares? That's why we print more money, you dumbass. Easy solution. And that's why I'm the president, a quick thinker with good looks. What's not to love? Printing money does not fix the problem, you dumbass. It just leads to more inflation, which will need to be tamed by increasing interest rates, which in hand will increase the amount that's paid out daily, not to mention the damage on everyday people that will get fucked when they remort gauge, get a mortgage or even get a loan for a car. Blah, blah, blah. Plus, were you having a spaz attack at the end of what you were saying or something? No, you dumbass. It's just that my head is hurting from you being so stupid. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to side with Donnie over this. You need to sort this economy out, Joe. Stop using your shitty Bidenomics. It's just not working. Ha ha ha. Whatever, guys. I've not got a lot longer left anyway, so as long as the currency is fine for the next 10 to 20 years, I'm happy. Don't know if you got 10 to 20 years in you. Maybe five at a push. Fuck you, bitch! Don't forget, Joe, you and I are still having a battle for kills in this game. I haven't forgotten. That's why I'm about to get this kill you bombaclat. Well, I have seen you've got one more, but Donnie got the other kill. You really need to get better, Joe. This is just poor. Also, I am proud of you for actually remembering stuff. Must mean you are finally remembering to take your dementia pills. Nah, I'm never taking those things. I only remember the important things in life. And you consider Fortnite more important than running the country. What the hell, pal? Well done, Donnie. Getting that kill now revive me. I still need to beat Obama. I will think about it, but to be honest, I think I want BBC Barack to win. Hey, you dickhead. Get your fat-ass orange head over to me now, you bitch-ass. Shut up, you wet-ass toilet roll. I ain't helping, you know. I am a golden blonde, not orange, unless you are trying to mock my skin color. If so, I am what's known as sun-kissed tanned. Joe, you better not be mocking his skin color. That would be so racist. I will be if he doesn't revive me right now. I'm about to bleed out you drip. I will get to it in a second when I have time. Oh, this guy's running. Let me revive you now, Joey boy. You can't, you bitch-ass toilet roll. You did this all on purpose. You didn't even need to push that guy. You are a shit person and a shit friend. Suck my big, fat, hairy cock. You dildo. Whoa, man, it's a game of Fortnite. Relax. It's not the end of the world. No need to cry. Also, Barack, protect me. I need to pop this chug jug. I'm on it, big man. No problem. I mean, I would ask Joe to also help protect this shed, but considering that drip died, I don't think he will be of much use. I hope you motherfuckers lose this shitty game. Ha ha! He raged again. What a baby. Also good timing that he didn't have to see you get killed. True enough, but they are good Donny World Pro kind of skills, so watch out in this battle. Ah shit! Ah shit, this is not looking good. It's fine, Donald. Just stay calm. Take them out one at a time. I will try. I'm going to retreat back to the shed, but I think we are screwed. For fuck's sake, just non-stop bullet spraying at my sexy ass. I hate this game sometimes, I have to say. Yeah, I get you. Can be annoying when shit like that happens. 